Hello, today I would like to show you this quite interesting device made by a Kaiser company. Its model being called a Hobby Light. What this device is intended to do, it is intended to create a workbench, a place that is going to be backlit and that is going to be allow you to see a film or a slides or negative or even a medical prints like this that are being made on a transparent foil. To take a look at the content of those films, you can grab a regular light source and you can put it like this and after shining light through, you will be able to see a picture. So let's take a look. Here are just a regular slides and you can those are actually my medicals one. So as you can see, you put a light through and you can take a look what's inside. Those large ones are being printed on a laser printer and they are being designed to be projected on a wall by use of a special machine. But they've got one thing in common, as you can see, it is quite hard to see what's going on. So it is quite hard to do that like this. You have to shine a bulb through. This device is designed to resolve any issue that you might have got while wanting to take a look at those foil. And the main question for you is why this is on the electronics channel. This device was intended for all those purpose in the photo lab but it's great addition in your electronic lab and that's because you are most likely going to be using foil like this to transfer your PCB projects and because of that you can put your printout and you can nicely inspect those all the traces are okay and you have a good quality copy. Let's first take a look at the visual aspect. So this is our backlit workbench. We've got that plastic thing that you can use to slide the picture under so it's not going to be moved. This is how it looks like. Here is our main switch and this unit is a battery operated. So if I'm going to turn it on, as you can see, it nicely backlit. Here we've got nothing. Over here we've got the connector for external power supply, 9 volt, 600 milliamp, the positive on the outer shell, so it is a reverse of what we are going to find commonly. This is the back, here we've got space for a free R14 batteries, and here is another, so it's going to be using a 6 the batteries. Here is the model number and fit that is going to give us some angle to better work. I disable light so we are going to get absolutely beautiful picture. Let me enable the backlight and as you can see the absolutely beautiful magic is happening we can nicely see what's going on on the picture. So those are uh, regular slides. We can of course use a foil. This is print out from a laser printer. This is exactly what you are going to see while working with a uh, PCB traces. So as you can see, it's looking absolutely beautiful and in person it's looking more better. Let me show you something different one and as you can see it's working absolutely absolutely perfect and the last thing that you could technically do is just using a regular film like this is the 8 millimeter but you would definitely need a magnifying glass. It's working but it is too small to work comfortable, but if you've got a movie, you can put it like this and it's not going to be moving around.
So that was a quick look at the Kaiser Hobby Light intended for pictures, but can be great addition to your electronic lab while working with a PCB that going to be transferred by a UV method. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.